Good morning, everyone. Surprising what the heat. It is raining outside. If you can see, it hasn't rained in a while, but I'm just getting ready to do some yoga. Woke up this morning. I was still a little tired, and I had fell asleep. Don't luckily, I woke up in time to take sleep before a walk. But that was after I was eating my breakfast and edited the vlog from yesterday. I just finished writing my cousin a letter. Just updating him on everything that's been going on out here. Just wrote him in tech, business, and just whatever else that uh, came to mind. But now I'm just gonna cut my hair and cop in the shower. Cause I gotta look good when I start back work. But you already know. All right, definitely do need to get something to eat. Then after, I wanna watch this. Malcolm X movie that Spike Lee had did with Denzel starring as Malcolm X so it should be pretty good because I love Denzel and the Spike Lee movies I've seen have been pretty good Yo boy El Supermercado Uh, is it a Para comprar brownies I'm not good, that's my mother's gonna need to get some new freaking breaks I just watched the Malcolm X biography that Spike Lee directed, and wow. Cause I have a coworker who, I know one of my coworkers, he's Muslim, and he had told me about how they did Malcolm X, like the Nation of Islam and Elijah Muhammad, and it was, <laughs> I'll have to tell you, it was a great history lesson. But my goodness, it's freaking cold out here. I was all nice and comfortable inside and nice and warm because upstairs in the house it was pretty cold but anyways I'm gonna make that video tomorrow when I get home from work about my language learning journey and how I've been going about learning languages or I may end up making it tonight who knows but I finished the shoegasm logo with the logo that I and I finished the logo from for my portfolio, and I am pretty happy in how it turned out. It was basically just a bunch of trial and error, just playing around and getting everything how I'd want it to be. But I, it's so lovely driving to be able to see further down the road. Okay, oh my dang battery's about to fall out. But one thing I noticed with this camera, let me see if I could do it now, like zoom in and you all can see it. And if it's showing up, it doesn't look like it. Okay, but anyways, yeah, I was originally going to drive my father's truck to the store and I seen it didn't really have much gas in it, plus I didn't want to have to worry about not being able to back it up into the driveway. And I was just like, okay, it barely has any gas in it, and he had said, when I had went back in to drive my mother's car that I'm now driving. Why don't you drive the truck and fill it up? I was thinking like, uh, no, I'm not going to. <laughs> I didn't really say anything, I just walked out. Because I'm still saving for a car. And... Yeah, basically I'm still saving for a car. That's my whole thing. Because I forgot about it. Originally I was trying to do too much at one time and cutting back and focusing on getting my glasses was a good thing. But now, it's just getting back to saving money how I was before and not overly spending on unnecessary things and staying within my budget and being able to have, my, have money to pay for class, which is not gonna be a problem. It was pretty funny, like the looks that people were giving me. I know it has to be because of the frames, or the glasses. And I'm glad like this time around, I didn't do something that was safe. And plus, I really like how they fit on my face. They're very, pretty comfortable. Except for like right here behind my ear. It hurts a little bit, but I didn't know it all. So I'm just getting used to them. Because my glasses before they had the like the thin legs on them, 
that's even like the correct wording to use. Woo! This heat feels so good. And yeah. Oh, okay. I remember what I was gonna say. I thought I was just drawing a blank there. But it really freaking annoys me, especially when you live in a city that was in the top. I don't think Durham might have been like number one in the nation for creative people. But I do not understand why you still see horrible signage around. Because there is this neighborhood not too far from here, well, where I live at to be exact, that their new sign for the neighborhood, it's horrible. Well, I won't say horrible. It was, you could tell it wasn't done. They didn't really take much time to do it. And it upset me to see that. But that could just be the designer side and me speaking. I really want mine to go play golf one day. I've never ever been. Did a bunch of hits to like 27. And let me show you all the bag that my sister's boyfriend got me. It is awesome. It's so much better than the one that I have currently. It's right here, Manchester United. So it's a football bag. And I know that overseas football is soccer. And in the U.S.